welcome to my channel y'all brand new mercies every day each and every day god allows us to see a new day brand new mercies thank you lord for allowing me to see a new day and thank y'all for clicking on this video i appreciate you all my name is linda welcome to 50 shades and since you clicked on this video you may as well may as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time your girl uploads a new video y'all i'm up being productive i got this morning got up early it's not even eight o'clock paid some bills i actually have folded up some clothes that i washed on last night and i went through my shoe closet and then i pulled out all my sandals and organized them on my little shoe organizer that's behind my door because y'all i was struggling y'all know how you go to work or you go somewhere and you come back home and you put your shoes up that you had on and you look and you see a pair of shoes and you're like i could have wore those today they would look much better and you put them on and you realize they really really would have looked better that's what i've been struggling with for the last couple of weeks so i was like let me pull all this stuff out and put, put them out because i was not putting out the summer shoes i had not pulled out my summer shoes yet so that's what i did this morning folded some clothes paid the bills y'all know the bills had to get paid y'all know the bills had to get paid i didn't want to get my money but i had to do what i had to do anywho <laughs> yes yeah, so that's what i was in here doing y'all just folding up some clothes and um organizing my shoe closet um i took a couple of days off um this these days were actually planned a while back um yesterday was my regular day off i didn't do anything yesterday but watch tv watch youtube and i watched a couple of movies yesterday um yesterday was my regular day off and i took off today and tomorrow which is thursday and friday no plans just you know just some <clears throat> time to unwind and relax and that's about it but um yeah when i was going through my shoe closet i saw those heels y'all and i was like i don't go anywhere anymore like seriously like i used to go out all the time your girl used to go out and literally cut up a rug y'all i used to go out all the time i used to like to go out dancing and have me a couple of drinks but i have not been anywhere in a while i guess when kobe came and they shut down everything and then you know that gave us time to actually think and you know what i'm saying just get your mind together or whatever and I don't know, I just haven't been out since then. You know, the girls that I used to go with, the females I used to go out with, they still go out, but I have not been anywhere, y'all. And I used to love to go out. I used to go out all the time. I do want to go out, but then I think about going out and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Because to be honest with you, y'all, um, you go out with people and, you know, you think people are really, really your friends and they're really not because they talk about you behind your back and I, I i just don't you know so i'm kind of glad that COVID gave me time to reflect and say you know what girl they just not your friends so that's really what i've been dealing with y'all i have not been going anywhere i usually go out all the time like i said but hanging with people that's not for you it's not a good thing and yeah so i just been chilling but I need to, like, literally, like, just make plans and, you know, go somewhere by myself, for real, for real. Like, y'all see I hang with my mom, you know what I'm saying? And then with my kids, I, like, when my oldest son is in town, I'm with him. Or, you know, I may be with my youngest son every now and then, my grandkids or whatever. But I don't really do nothing. I don't really do nothing, y'all. Because y'all know how people are. People are funny. Females are funny, y'all. Females can be really, really, really funny. And they ain't loyal. You know, I ain't saying all females are like that because they not. You got some good ones, but then you got those other ones that's just backstabbing. And your girl ain't for all that. She, she ain't for all that. But anywho, I think I'm going to actually go and get me some breakfast this morning. I'm going to go um, to this this area. Curry Town, it's called Curry Town. It's here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to go there and probably get me some breakfast. Um, probably give me some breakfast and um it's like a strip it, it's like a strip mall it has a lot of boutiques and restaurants so i'm gonna go there and give me some breakfast i really just want to walk 
I'm being nosy, y'all. Looking at the wonder. I really just want to walk this strip, you know, just to get my steps in and, you know, just get out in the sun. It ain't like I need to be in the sun, but yeah. <laughs> get out and get some sun and um, just get my steps in and give me some breakfast. So that's what I'm probably going to be doing. I'm about to go ahead and fix me a smoothie first. Y'all know I like to start my morning off with some fruit before I have that solid food on my stomach. So I'm going to make me a smoothie first. And then, yeah, just go to Curry Town, get my steps in, get me some breakfast. And yeah, so let me go ahead and get my day started. I'm going to see y'all in a few minutes, okay? Y'all, I'm sitting here on the phone <laughs> trying to figure out what type of smoothie I want, y'all. So I'm so tired of making the same type of smoothie. Trying to make a smoothie that's going to taste good. Y'all know you can mess a smoothie up like that. You can put all your ingredients in there, think it's going to be good, and it's disgusting. And we're not having it today. We're not having it. So I have some mango, I have some bananas, I have, um, of course I have my greens, apples. Um, I need to go to the store because I need to re-up. But um, that's why I got drugged other than re-up. I need to re-fresh <laughs> and um, pick up some more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I got some pistachios and I have a taste for some pistachios in my smoothie. I don't have no mint. I know when you do pistachio mint, that tastes really good. So I don't have any mint, but I do have some pistachios and have some mango. So, all right, so this one right here, it says mango pistachio. So mango pistachios milk. It says sugar and honey, sugar or honey and water. So I have some pistachios, I have some almond milk, I have some mango. I'm not going to use the sugar and the honey. I'm probably going to just use some um, dates and some water. Y'all, I need to get me a Vitamix. Is that what it's called? Vitamix blender? One of those real powerful blenders, y'all. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I think it's called a Vitamix um, blender. I want one of those so bad, y'all. I think it just blends your... Um, smooth it down better so you don't you're not blending it down so much because it's not good to blend too long because it breaks down the nutrients in the smoothie is what i heard i think i'm right i think i'm right but yeah i'm gonna be a vitamix blender y'all i'm gonna give me one too i think it's like almost 400 dollars it's expensive one day one day all right so i have my mangoes right here and i think these are from trader joe's it smells so good y'all i love trader joe's frozen mango chunks I have some dates right here. These, I'm not going to be using these ones. I actually do not like these ones. These are the major dates. I mean, I will put them in my smoothie, but like, I don't really like these. These are not pitted. I like the pitted dates because I don't like to have to deal with the seeds. Plus, I don't really like the taste of these as much as I like the um, pitted the, um, deglet nor. So these ones, like I said, these are mature. See how it says mature dates? I like the Deglet Nor. So these are Deglet Nor. So these ones are really good. I can like eat these by itself. I have a few more of these left, just a little bit. But if y'all was um with me when I did my haul, or when I went to the store last week, I didn't do a haul. I went to the store last week. I picked up some more. So Deglet Nor. These ones are actually spelled different. See, these ones are N O U R, and these ones are N O O R. So I don't know. Somebody ain't spelling it right. But anywho, it's the same dates, but I love these dates. They are so good. So if y'all trying to cut back on your sugar, use date sugar. I use regular sugar. I don't use date sugar, but I'm just saying if you're trying to cut back on your sugar, use date sugar. Or if you want to just cut back on your sugar while you're making smoothies, because sometimes smoothies can be pretty bland, depending on what ingredients you're using. Just use the dates and it makes your smoothie taste really good. I'm just saying. And then I have my pistachios and my almond milk. And y'all have me see that. And they're good. weigh myself to see if I've actually gained that weight back that I lost when I was sick 
before um, I was sick, I was like one between 185 and 187. I'm mean, gonna fluctuate between 185 and 187. And then after I was sick, it went down to like 179, I believe. No, it was 178. So let's see how much I've gained back. If I've gained any back. I feel like I have, because I do feel like a little heavier than I was after I was sick. So let's see. So 184. So I gained just about all of it back. Yeah. So we're gonna go have breakfast this morning. I'm gonna save you all a seat so you all can have a seat with me and we can eat breakfast together. So I'm gonna see you all when I get to the restaurant, okay? Open. Um, so that restaurant doesn't open till 11, y'all. I was going to try to go there, but they don't open until 11. So they don't open until 11 o'clock. So I just took a stroll down, taking a stroll back up towards my car, and I had to find me something to eat because that was my sole purpose of coming out to eat. <laughs> so this is the house I used to live in right here, right on the corner. Um, the owners decided to actually sell the property. So I guess whoever purchased the property, they're renovating the home. So yeah, this was my old home, you all. And I missed it dearly. I'm telling y'all to miss this place. I miss the neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood full of businesses and you know a lot of things to do over here. I y'all, so as you all can see, things have definitely changed. I thought I was gonna be able to get me some breakfast down here, but things have definitely changed since COVID. I, most of these shops open a little later, 11 o'clock-ish, so, so um, there were two spots that I had in mind that I wanted to go to, and they both said they're closed. So um, definitely, it's, it's definitely a change. I don't think I've ever walked down that block or driven down this block, and it was this quiet ever since I've, you know since i used to live here so things have definitely changed they are definitely not the same anymore um somebody just walked past y'all but yeah it's, it's definitely different it's just a different feel out here than it used to be so i'm going to go see if i can find me some breakfast i'm not sure what i want to do or what i want to eat i'm probably going to head back over to my side of town and um grab something to eat but i did get a couple of steps in i walked all the way down and walked all the way back up and yeah so I'm gonna see you all when I get to some food. All right. All right, y'all, I made it to a restaurant called McLean's. There's a lot of people in here, so hopefully I don't have to wait long because you're gonna start. I'm just saying. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the salmon cakes. I have the salmon cakes where you get the two eggs. You can get home fries or grits. I'm not sure if I wanna do home fries or I'm gonna do grits. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some grits. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm gonna get. I'm about to turn some food up. Breakfast was disgusting. It really was. Um, it tastes like cafeteria food. It was not good at all. I'm just saying. But I'm at the good way. I'm about to go in here and see what's in here. It is some hours later. And I'm about to prepare me some dinner. I keep telling myself I'm going to meal prep and I never do it. Especially since I said I'm going to start making bowls you know how they make those protein bowls i seen somebody on youtube um she went to a restaurant and she had purchased a bowl and it was like avocado salmon i'm just adding some more garlic powder y'all it was avocado it was salmon 
and it was um kale and rice and it just looked so good and i said i'm gonna start making me some bowls but like it would be so easy if i just prepare those bowls and have them ready so i don't have to you know cook all the time and these for like three days three or four days at a time so i think i'm gonna start meal prepping because that's what i need to do so one day i'll be that disciplined to meal prep All right, y'all, I've decided doing this video, I'm going to do four shout outs, four amazing channels, four amazing people. So I think I'm going to be doing this on a regular. If I don't forget, y'all know how it is sometimes. Anywho, let's go ahead and do a shout out for these amazing channels. Again, go ahead and subscribe to their channels and let them know that 50 Shades In sent you to their channel, okay? So the first channel is going to be Growing and Healing Self Love. The second is Roshonda Burroughs. The third is Miss T with the T. And then there is DJ Jordan. So go ahead and subscribe to these amazing channels. You won't be disappointed, okay? So let me get back to cooking so I can eat because your girl is hungry. Let me go fix my plate. I'm going to show y'all what that's looking like, okay? chicken breast, onions, peppers, feta cheese, arugula, and avocado. Perfect. 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 It's the dinner pepper on the chicken for me. Pretty. 